What's up folks? This is Phil again back for replicas of the past. You can see this looks like a different location. It is. It's in my building I bought. It is where my collection now exists altogether. I don't really want to reveal it yet. The collection's all around me here. Um, I'm still working on some stuff with the uh, shelves. I'm adjusting the shelves manually. They're the plastic shelving, but I'm sawing the legs off to make more shelf space. It's basically what I've been doing. And it's a bit more of a project than I thought it was going to be. As soon as I'm done with it, I'll uh, do another collection video tour of my collection after I got it where I need it to be. We're going to take a look at this guy real quick. I do have a box. It's a Speccast tractor, IH450 farm all with a loader on it. The standard spec cast box, the gray and black trim, uh, plastic window, plastic shell inside. The track, uh, the it was made by spec cast in 2021. I just didn't bring the box out at this time. As far as this real tractor, the IH 450, it was produced by International Harvester. Let's see, Farmall 450. Between 1956 through 1958. So the next tractor in the line was a five, the 560. For the next series. That was similar to this one. Belt tested 55.2 horsepower. Drawbar tested 51.2 horsepower. Classical tractor here. I've done a video on at least one 450 in the past And this is my second one. I got in my collection It's a pretty cool little tractor Of course spec cast we all know what to expect there Got some nice details there. Here's your draw bar it does swing back and forth Your PTO there Nice little details here in the rear end all together. Here's a little work light underneath the seat. Nice little spring on the seat. It even has got spring to it. It's just crazy these things, how detailed they are. The, fender, the fenders are clamshell style. Your seat, of course, sits up and back a little bit, like all, a lot of these tractors did in this time frame. Driver's station looks pretty detailed. Foot pedals, levers, both sides of the driver. This probably here is the gear shift because it goes straight down to the middle there. Your dashboard is inserted, all that. Nicely done. Three levers here. And they do move, that's crazy. Of course, you got some work lights right here as well, up here by the driver's station. Long hood, pretty good looking hood there. Your intake, your muffler, they're both uh, plastic, I believe. Here's your decaling. It says uh, International Farm all here. And then 450 out here by the near the grill area. It's hard to see the engine details because of the loader, of course. But it's got some nice stuff going on inside that engine compartment, nonetheless. Of course, you got the loader on it. So it got forks. Nice little hydraulic lines running here. Looks cool. Of course, you see the lines up here as well. Hydraulic lines. It's just crazy. The loader does go up and down. It's stiff though, very stiff. And also the loader had this on it, a flat bucket part. I think it just slides right on. Yeah, slides right on just like that. So when I had, it was in the box, uh, um, <laughs> I seen it look, look like that. And then when I got it out here, I'm like, well, I thought that had a flat part across the forks. And it, it had fell off on my couch when I was taking it out of the box. It's pretty cool, though. Here's the underneath of the tractor. Your tires, four round, all rubber, of course. I think I've seen these tires before on other spec cast models. 
then your rear wheel is a silver outside rim and then the international red with the on the weights and stuff there front wheel is a thin thin three rib front tire i should say the front wheel there it's a pretty neat little old replica here of a classic international tractor i'll do a quick comparison let's do that now all right here's my 450 with a loader by spec cast alongside my Ertl 460 farm all narrow front end thought that would be appropriate to see those two side by side old classic red power in its finest form right there with these two all right i'll move on to some final thoughts and let's do that now all right spec cast 116 scale ih 450 farm all with a loader on it it's pretty cool i like how the loader accents the white grill screen that's pretty neat uh it's a pretty nice little tractor here i always say spec cast knocks it out of the park and they did no different with this one it's pretty cool all right everyone i'll close out my video I want to thank everyone who always tunes in sorry i was gone for about two weeks been busy but i'm back hopefully here for a steady run y'all have a blessed day this is phil for replicas of the past we'll talk again soon